After 37 years of baseball, Nashville Sounds fans are saying goodbye to Greer Stadium. It is the end of an era. Of course, named after Herschel Greer, the man who really kept the, little, the minor leagues here in Nashville. Over the years, it's undergone several renovations, being able to host as much as 10,000. We're about one hour away from the last Sounds game. There's a capacity crowd out here now, lots of great energy, and of course, lots of reminiscing tonight as well. It is safe to say the last cheer at Greer was a spirited one. What is good guys? Today we are inside of an abandoned minor league baseball stadium, Old Greer Stadium, home or former home to the Nashville Sound. This place is absolutely amazing. It's the first baseball stadium I've ever been in, minor league, major league, anything. I've never been inside of an abandoned baseball stadium like this. It's really, really unique. Guitar scoreboard. That's the first time I've ever seen a guitar scoreboard inside of any kind of baseball stadium. This place is absolutely amazing. Opened back in 1978, closed in 2014. Like I said, it was home, or the former home, again, the former home of the Nashville Sound. This place is absolutely amazing. I read somewhere that it said it seats over 10,000 people. It seems like it doesn't hold that many people, but there's a lot of box seats around here. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna go all around this field as much as we possibly can kind of had to stay on the low so we got to stay hidden around here you're gonna get into this check out what else this place has let's get it These are all the old concession stands right here, guys. I'm sure it's one of a few that are inside of here, but this is where you used to get your hot dogs, popcorn, sodas, beers, all that stuff right here. You can see that a lot of people have been able to get to the stadium already, but it's still really an amazing sight. Look at that scoreboard, guys. Has anybody ever seen a guitar scoreboard before? It's definitely a first for me. I gotta say, I've been to a lot of baseball stadiums in my life and I've been to a lot of baseball games in my life, but I have never ever seen a guitar scoreboard. That is some, it's, it's gotta be like a really awesome piece of history. It's like a, it definitely is a monument to this park. Something that is, is very, very unique. And I'm sure everybody around here used to love that. I'm, I can't even, I don't know, man. It, 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 it just, it saddens me to see like a, a unique place like this just go to waste. You know, I mean, but unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, they were able to get the funds to build a new stadium. Wow. These are pretty nice. Look at that. Not a bad vantage point to watch the game from.
We actually found some seats left over in the box here. And a bar. And another kitchen. They really got to this place. They came through here and destroyed this place. Everything that you're seeing in these stands right here once resided inside of these boxes. No more. Somebody took almost the entire cabinetry. Refrigerators, there's a refrigerator down there. But everything that was inside of here ended up inside of those stands. Looks like they had a couple of party decks here. These are getting installed inside of minor league baseball stadiums and major league baseball stadiums nowadays. This is where you can like hang out. It's more like a communal club type of thing. You know, they might even sell this as a club where like you can kind of hang out. Some of them have like easy chairs and things like that, like lazy boys and stuff, where you can really sit back, hang out, and just take in this whole field. You can see walking through here guys, they just tore down all the hi-hats and just destroyed this entire place. We're going to go walk through here, check out more of these box seats, see what else we can find, then go into the dugouts. Oh wow, this is a press box right here guys. All the reporters just line all their computers and stuff up and report on the game. You can see right here. It's where the cord used to go through. They plug in right there, plug in right there to their internet access. And they used to be able to report the game. Just looking from right behind home plate. They just kicked through all the walls. Right through. Another bar. Oh wow. More seating. So this is a better look at what a complete box might look like with seats and everything's still left inside of it. And they used to look right out to the field. Just chilling out right here, taking in the game, the oh, abandonment. If only we had some beers. Yeah, we do need some beers. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm more entertained watching nothing than the <laughs> actual baseball game. He's not really a sports um, fan. Yeah, I'm not really that big of a sports fan. But Joe, dead ass, I, I would be more entertained just like, oh, this is great. This Either way, I can be entertained. I'm pretty entertained <laughs> right now, and I could be entertained with a beer in my hand watching the ball game. So. Yes. Either way, but this is pretty dope. Look at that, guys. Just taking it in like real fans. <laughs>
So this is where Harold Greer and his family used to sit, talk about the game, talk about future business ventures that they had with the uh, you know, potential clients that they could have and all those things. Very, very cool. I can only imagine how much fun was had here during some of these games, some you know, late summer nights, you know, extra innings, big fireworks shows and things like that. Very cool. Look, I mean, you can look out. Look at, look at just the view. Look at that. You can see the mountains all the way out there in the distance. Very cool spot. It's probably very nice to have this. You got Scotty B here. Right here. Yep. Scott B is here. Scott B is here. His link is in the description down below. What do you think? I think this place is awesome. It's really cold out, but it's worth it. Yeah, the adrenaline's taken away from the coldness. Oh right yeah, now. definitely. I have no gloves on. And, and this is the first fine. this is the first stadium you've ever done, and this is the first baseball stadium we've all ever done. So it's definitely one of a kind. Go check out his video guys. Wow, this is insane, so sick. Remember what I was saying guys? All this stuff came out of all those box seats. Somebody really terrorized this place. Look at this guys. Wow. Incredible. Guys, I'm just in the stands right now. And I don't know if these had been around in 2014 I'm actually almost certain that these are fairly new within the past two years around here and it's sitting here which means that somebody stole this and threw it in these abandoned bleachers so right now we're standing on what I said and what i told you guys was the party deck this is an absolutely cool vantage point there's probably a couple of bars on here people can come grab drinks and food and all that stuff and like i said they might have had easy chairs lazy boys some things like that i've seen that in some stadiums i've seen it in a lot of stadiums actually i think it's kind of the norm at this point where they could charge an arm and a leg for a lazy boy and have you just sit here like you're sitting in your own living room but sitting in the stands and just kind of chilling out just watching the game I'd be over the handrail like this this is usually my spot I don't like to sit when I'm at games I usually don't even go to my seats when I'm at the games I usually just like walking around the stadium So this right here is where the catchers and pitchers would warm up. Pitchers used to stand back there, right where Scotty is. And he used to throw the catcher right over here. You can still see the imprint of home plate. All right guys, so we made it over to the most unique scoreboard I have ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a guitar or instrument scoreboard in my life anywhere. This should absolutely be in some sort of Nashville museum or something like that. It is so unique. Famous guitar has been lit up since 1993 for every game played here at Greer Stadium. Right now I'm standing on this warning track right here. And could you imagine 
how many home runs were hit over this wall or how many times an outfielder came up and grabbed the home run and just snatched it. The warning track right here. This is where I played. First base and center field. Very cool. Look at this, guys. All right, guys, we finally reached the dugout. Look at it. More stuff just thrown all around. Back here. Oh, wow, here's the locker rooms. Look at this, guys. I love these lockers. The wood lockers that have the names over them right there. There's the name. Do you think that guy made it to the bigs? Number 19, Colonel. Or number 20, Karanka. I've never heard of these guys in the majors, but I don't really keep up with baseball too much. That's number 26, register. Number 28, Koshansky. Koshansky. Koshansky actually sounds like a familiar name. I'm not sure whether or not it's a professional baseball player, but it definitely is familiar to me. So right now, Due to the fact that they have the names stenciled over the lockers, we are in the home team's locker room here. This is an individual set of six lockers here. I wonder why they would have these in the corners. Maybe it was the captains or the coaches. Because there's no number there, so it's Townsend. If anybody knows anything about this team, and I'll research it as well, but if anybody knows anything, let me know in the comments who Townsend was. to be the home of the Nashville Sounds, but now Greer Stadium is a place with an uncertain future. For two years, Greer Stadium has sat unused gathering graffiti, but a new proposal called Adventure Park could take the one-time destination and revitalize it and the surrounding area, including senior living and affordable housing, a hotel, farmer's market, retail stores and restaurants, an event center, a sportsplex that would allow people to play sports like soccer indoors, as well as plenty of green space to keep the feel of the surrounding area. The project is also taking a stab at public transportation in hopes of connecting Adventure Park to the city through a special monorail system that would bypass traffic. So the mayor has already given her stamp of approval to cloud development for a mixed use development there or Greer Stadium could be turned into a park. That's just one of many options. All right guys, this was a dope explore. An absolutely unique baseball stadium. I still can't get over that scoreboard that's behind me right there. This place must have had a lot of really cool summer nights inside of it. Playing baseball, playoff games, everybody kind of chilling out, relaxing. Like I said before, Nashville is a really cool area and I can't believe that this place is just rotting. The good part about that is the actual baseball team 
got a new facility and I'm sure that they took a lot of the things that were of good use. I was looking for a batting cage and now I'm thinking that they were able to take the components of the batting cage and take it to the other facility as well as other things that the players could have used that aren't really out of date. Now obviously the refrigerators, cabinetry, all that stuff was all going into the new stadium build anyhow so they couldn't take it here and that unfortunately is why this place is being destroyed like that. All the windows broken out, all the refrigerators like I said are all over these stands. Everything is just getting vandalized like crazy. I am absolutely so happy that we got here before they demoed this place. It will be demoed very soon like most of these places that we go to so there's only a short point in time to do it. We were coming through, we got it, we hit it and we were able to see this sick stadium. This place is absolutely incredible. This is the first time we've ever explored a baseball stadium on this channel and it might very well be the first stadium explorer I put on the channel because I have another one out but I might put this one out first. You guys let me know what you think of this. I enjoy myself thoroughly. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel because we're doing stuff like this all the time. And we'll see you at the next spot, guys. Peace.